Okay, what we're doing here is uh, uh, we're stabilizing the roof. I, I realized that um, uh, the um, the floor is not going to be adequately strong and uh, neither is the roof. So um, uh, 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 what we're going to have to do is um, I drew a, um, a sketch earlier of uh, where is it? It was uh, uh, um, uh, it, it was on the uh, forum. Give me a minute. Sorry about this. I put it on the endless sphere forum. Yeah, there we go. There we go, we can see this uh, uh, image. Uh, I'm uh, with a mark up in green um, of the um, uh, of where the, a, a, a new uh, section is going to go that will be attached to the floor um, and support the roof, um, uh, similar to the cars um, uh, from the 1930s, the sports cars from the 1930s, uh, like Morgan Aero, uh, the MG, etc. Um, you have a uh, 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 you actually step into the car from above because it's quite low on the ground, um, uh, and that gives an opportunity to stabilise the the, the the floor section. So um, part of that involves um, uh, creating bracing in the roof, and um, let me just uh, put the air box back in. There we go. Alright, so with that in, you can see, let me zoom in on the particular point here, that there is a pipe supporting the roof from the airbox up to one of the middle sections of the, of the roof, but what was missing was a corresponding support from the very top of the uh, airbox uh, through to the um, the piece that's above that one, all right. And um, uh, this, let me just take that airbox uh, box back out. This section of the roof here. Um, uh, uh, wasn't quite a, um, uh, a geodesic, uh, a, um, a rigid structure until I put this cross brace pipe in. Now that's not intended to be filled in, so that, and I put a corresponding one here at the back there. Um, uh, similar to um, the sports version of the. Um, um, uh, uh, the, uh, the Lamborghini, uh, is it the Lamborghini Huracan <coughs> on Daily Dirt Driven Dirt Exotics. There's a sports version that they're doing at the moment, and there's actually a um, a roof scoop, um, uh, which feeds into a supercharger. In theory, the same thing could be done here. Um, I quite like the line, the dipping of the line here, um, which you can see. You know, that's over the top of the left passenger then it dips down, the driver's head is on that line, and then it dips back up, uh, goes back up there, give it a thing. But what was missing was these two uh, things here, which if we create a, if we put a flat panel in that, um, uh, even if it's perspex, it will um, uh, give that uh, nice line um, still there, um, and also create um, an air tunnel. So um, uh, some more rigidity in there. Um, also, what I've done is um, added. And I'll zoom in on it. This line. This. Keep an eye on it. This pipe here, which goes to that. Whoops. 
I have to do this in two dimensions, because, excuse me. It goes to this node here at the front of the uh, end of the windscreen. And you can see that creates a nice triangulation from here to this wind to the uh, um, uh, left middle of the windscreen down to here which is braced against the air box um, up to there to that one let me see if that gets correct yep up to this point here and you get the general idea you have a um, another triangle so you've got a left tetrahedron from there 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 and there and that's rigid and then you've got this wedge Yeah, a wedge like that, and um, a, a, a right tetrahedron. So the whole of that front of the uh, of the roof part portion is a rigid wedge. So that, um, when braced against the part that's braced against the airbox, should give us a nice rigid rigid roof line. And what that in turn means is that this left portion here uh, I can make that out of um, uh, initially out of canvas with pockets for pipes and it will you'd literally just flop it up so uh, this central per per proportion over the driver would be rigid that triangular wedge there would be rigid or at least the whoops front of it but um, this portion will be floppy inside a canvas bag and whoops sorry and likewise likewise this this one and I'll zoom that back out um, and this and this and that yep yeah, and and that one all, right, all the way back to the floor, uh, to, to, to the um, to the to the the, um, the back box behind the behind the passengers. Um, similar similar thing on the other side as well, and um, ultimately what we'll be able to do is replace that with a gullwing door, which would be kind of cool. So yeah. Anyway, that's the that's the current plan. Now I've got to 3D print the parts. <laughs>